what we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Warden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. And not new here as in like new to YouTube, but new to, you know, me, my channel, if you decide to look at him and stuff. And well, when it comes to me posting anything as in long form content, I'm very aware it's been a while. I know as in like, as of June 20th was my last kind of, you know, piece of work I've done, which was a short, but, um, that, you know, that doesn't take much work and, you know, with what I do, I've obviously, if you put a little bit more effort than me in, into your shorts with special video trickery and stuff, then obviously, you know, you, you know, that takes more work for you. But, um, obviously I know really, I know I really haven't posted anything in a while on my YouTube channel. Um, as in, as in like long form content wise, I know I'm very aware. I'm a little nitpicky, but I think it's, if you know, you know, for very good reasons why I'm kind of like that. Um, but obviously I kind of wanted to maybe start a little something, you know, I know I'm a Lego channel, but you know, I kind of want to try to start something. I don't know how to start doing a, and a life of Michael kind of a video or a life of, of a John Doe, let's just say, but here I am, I'm starting it. Um, obviously I kind of wanted to start it in a different place. Um, I'm kind of a person that, you know, if I had the time and let's just say that, you know, the weather's nice, like, like you see here, the weather's nice, it's beautiful out. I struggle with putting you guys back where I found you. Um, I kind of have a hard time sitting in my room indulging into my hobbies which as most of you already know is lego and and as some of you know already is video games so maybe i want to start something i want to see how well this is received and whatnot but honestly i don't know how this has started obviously i did bring a little you know lego minifigure here so some of you say, this isn't Lego. No, 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 no. Like, honestly, I, I brought a Lego figure here j just to cover my bases. But um, I figure I kind of start a little something, maybe talk about my thoughts about, you know, what's been going on, why I really have, why there really hasn't been a whole lot of action on my channel, um, my thoughts and feelings and stuff. But yeah. So before I continue on with the video, I am at a place called Shrobrook Park. This is a local nice little town park, really, really nice area. So yeah, real, real quick little tidbit there. Now, before I continue, if you hear the wind, it is pretty little windy. I think we got a little bit of clouds coming in, but I don't think it's gonna rain. We get a lot of clouds up here in upstate New York. But, um, you know, for, for some of you that, that are wondering, like, I know I really haven't posted anything in like, when it comes to work like this in like months, and I know there's some creators that are like, you know, they haven't posted in years and then eventually they come back and then they then they have this whole elaborate story, elaborate story. But for me, you know, I care about me doing YouTube and, you know, just of, as of like, you know, the, the beginning of this year until now, you know, there's been a lot that's kind of gone on in a way. Um, but I figure maybe today I share and talk about it and then um, I would then maybe maybe next week if, if i if i feel the oomph to do this again which i will touch up on a little bit i'll talk about it i'll talk about anything that's kind of gone on this week but um you know just you know in the beginning of this year i you know for for uh, for a few weeks you know i was working for a wire mill um the the job was and the real truth about this place is about to come out so if you're someone I used to work with, I do respectfully apologize. This is my opinion. Um, yes, I did tough through it. I did, you know, I did put up with it. I knew that um, the things that I was doing at the time, which was truly, you know, working at this wire mill and then trying to pursue this and stuff. But um, I worked for a wire mill that was filthy, dirty, smelly. I mean, you know, everything that, you, maybe someone that wouldn't want to happen to you happened to you. I mean, it was a, it, it, it's a miserable job. And when I was working there, it was giving me the, um, the, the oomph, the, the encouragement 
to work hard for my YouTube channel so that when when I was going to get monetized, I can say I can leave this place for myself and not leave this place for somebody else. And um, I was all excited, you know. And I remember in the very beginning of the year, well, n near like, you know, the end of the year of last year, um, the company gave, you know, the company I used to work for, the wire mill that I used to work for, you know, we, they, they sat us down and they were talking about a company that's taken over, but we kind of like knew about this company and stuff and we kind of followed their rules a little pretty much 100% of the way. But then eventually they said that, you know, they really wanted to, to really have an attachment, you know, to the company and be called this company officially. And then eventually 100% of everything that they did, you know, benefits ours, you know, the, the punching in system for clocking in and stuff became full and efficient. It, it was, I don't know, it's kind of weird, but you know, I, I didn't run the company, let's just say. And um, and then the company gave us a whole week off for Christmas and New Year's Eve. And and um, I took, you know, I had the week off. I was excited, ready to go back to work. And I remember, you know, they, they kind of sat us down and they said, you know, the building that we're in, um, we don't own the building. We, you know, we're just leasing it. And I'm like... I'm like, geez. And um, and they said, you know, we're gonna give you a sheet of paper. You know, you put your name down and you and you have two options. What are those two options? And I'm like, you know, those two options are you either stay with the company and you move to a different plant and or you move with the machine that you're working on to wherever that machine is going or you, you know, you know, you say you're, you're work. You know, you're gonna stay working with the company, and you give, you, and they give you some kind of like three to four week incentive, you know, for, for staying with the company. Well, I kind of thought, well, what's the point? You know, what's the point of me leaving the company? I'm young. I can still be working here. I'll just, you know, they had another facility right down the street, and I decided just to, I'll just go to the, the to the other plant right down the road. So after that we they they then decided after a couple of weeks of working there and and me checking on this me signing the paper me stating hey you know i'm willing to go to a different plant you know down the street from there which is basically owned by the same company after a couple of weeks they decided to to let me go they, they said it was quality and performance but we all think the you know deep down there somewhere they kind of just had to make some ties and cut and cut and cut the, the the loose hanging fruit and i was one of them yes i was aware that between me and the guy that i worked with who was my trainer he was obviously he outperformed me heavily he was way better than me at the job he he, he could run circles in that department that he was working at but um you know i you know of course what i what i what i was doing what i had to do it took a lot of time and i guess the company just lost patience now, would some of you would like to agree that that I that I get let go because I did something? I don't know. Would some of you like to agree to the fact that I got let go because it was more of a business decision? Well, here's the deal. Overall, I'm happy I got let go because filthy, smelly, it was loud, I was coming home filthy every night. So when they kind of let me go, it was kind of a time to rejoice for me for a little bit. But here's where I got pretty counterintuitive. Now, this is how it was getting counterintuitive, right? The, the job that I was at at the time, it was the very drive and reason why I wanted to keep working on, on my YouTube channel. And I can leave that place for myself, get out of there and stuff, and... See, I did it. But then when I got let go, I was like, oh, geez. I'm like, I don't know what I'm working so hard for. But yet, I also thought, well, this is my time to shine, to really put in all the work in my, into my YouTube channel and just do it, you know? So I'm like, well, I don't know. So I, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My enthusiasm for, for the YouTube channel, it kind of died a little bit. But, 
and I wasn't really, even though I was unemployed and, and yes, I pretty much had all the time, all kinds of time in the world, there were things I had to take care of. Like I had to try to get myself, I had, had to get my unemployment set up, which took a lot of work. Um, you know, I was, you know, I'm there, I'm always there for my family, um, and stuff, but I'm switching you guys around. Um, but yeah, I, I'm a little disappointed in myself in the fact that when I was unemployed at the time, I was, that was my time to really shine. But, but yet also, again, at the same time, I wasn't, I'm not monetized on here. And I, you know, I, I knew that I had to get a job, which I did at the time. And this job that I have now, I pretty much enjoy it. It's a pretty neat job. Do I enjoy this? Of course. <laughs> I, this is cool. You know, this this shows a very neat part of me. Like I and like I say, I enjoy my hobbies. But when it's nice like this, and I can walk outside and take advantage of the beautiful weather, it's kind of hard to stay cooped up inside your house. Let me be real here. Also, don't let me forget, it's pretty muggy out here. So that might be a tiny, small, driven reason why I might want to stay inside and and indulge in my hobbies. But woo. now, if some of you are wondering. Mike, who do you work for? Well, I'm not gonna, with all due respect, not disclose the company who I work for or mention their name because it's just, I, th I feel like it's just right. But, you know, just like what the wire mill did to me, I I'm not gonna, you know, disclose their name. But who do we work for? Well, I'm gonna tell you this, I might just give you enough information. I am what they call a meter tech. I basically install regular electrical meters for smart meters and um is it a company that a lot of people like <gasps> no but uh yeah that's my job right now i kind of enjoy it you know i'm outside every day i get to drive around walk around to different areas right now respectfully i'm in kind of a, in a rough area of my town but there, there's no uh, you know there's no you know perfect you know how do you say it? every place is a good place and every place is a bad place so, uh, yeah, so there's that. On a quick side note here, why in this nice pavilion is there not benches or chairs to sit on? I mean, this looks nice, but where are the chairs? And uh, I gave this, this walk, uh, you know, this, this here a test walk, and this is a pretty buoyant, like it doesn't feel sturdy. It feels pretty stinking loose. Someone might wanna take a look at this here. <laughs> but overall, you know, other than that, that's what's been kind of been going on in, in the past months and, you know, wh where my heart's been at, you know, especially like with my YouTube channel and, you know, wh wh what's been, you know, um, uh, you know, if you guys want to know anything interesting that's, that's going on this week or this past week or whatever, um, especially with my job, you know, it's been super hot, super warm and I got to wear super long clothing and stuff to, to protect me from, you know, from, from, uh, potential uh fire problems and with the heat and everything it's been bad but woof. um also uh this week i we me and my family thought that we had to make a difficult decision with the family pet because you know she is uh 11 11 years old and seven months we all thought she was 12 but for all the rounding up fascist, fascist yeah there you go 12 years old we kind of thought that we had to make the uh, big and upsetting and sad decision, but thankfully we did not. She is nowhere near that, uh, you know, potential time of her life, thank God. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, the, I think this is, I kind of find this enjoyable. This feels very therapeutic to do, to talk, and to get my feelings and thoughts out there. Um, if you notice that there's little to no effort with with my thumbnail well this is not in a way it's not lego related i know i put a lego minifigure in there but um who cares about the thumbnail maybe with something like this but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed me kind of talking and sharing my thoughts on just as of recently what's been going on um i'm going to do this for the youtube bots please like comment and subscribe and uh you know kind of helps me out bots you, you, you know I'm talking to you. Help me out here. But to, to the audience, and if you decided to stay until this point, thank you very much. And with that, I'm out of here. So see ya.